Today I'm going to show you how to install a license plate extender on a Harmar lift. Uh, when you order the license plate extender, you will get the actual extender, which is this is what it looks like. You will get these half inch bolts to mount the license plate to the extender. You will get these longer bolts that are going to replace these shorter ones once we take it off, because that's how that's going to mount. And then if you want to move the license plate light that's under here to right here, we also send these long 5 16 bolts and also a uh, light extension so that we can extend the light higher up. Now in order to mount this, the tools you'll need is a 3 8 drill or 3 8 socket for these four bolts here and then your license plate will be mounted by these little bolts here. I've already removed them. You can just remove them with a flathead screwdriver. Uh, so I got them out of the way. We're not going to need them anymore. <clears throat> and then for the, if you wanted to move the lights, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16th wrench. And then for the actual license plate mounts, you'll need two half inch wrenches. So I'm going to start by removing these four bolts with our 3 8 drill. You could also use a socket set. I'm going to use a drill to make it go a little faster. And then this is actually holding the head onto the foot platform. So when you take this last bolt out, it'll get kind of loose. So these are the old bolts, but we're going to put in these longer new ones look like this. So now we're going to mount the actual license plate extender. We're going to get these longer bolts that we have. And this is the trickiest part is actually getting it to line up. So I like to hold it here. I got the holes lined up and then you just kind of look until you see the threading. Once you see the threading, I'm going to take this and kind of jam it in there and pray I don't drop it. Let me grab another one. So there's the threading. I'm just going to jam that one in there. Then I'm going to grab my drill and just get it started. And that should hold it in place while I line up the others. And drop it again. Should be a lot easier to line up the others. And my third bolt actually fell underneath the lift and I can't get it. But yeah, you do the fourth one as well. So now I've got all four bolts in. You can see the extender is pretty secure. <clears throat> now we're going to move the light. So the light is secured by two threaded um, Phillips screws. So I'm going to use my drill very carefully and take them out. There's the first one. There we go. And then your light just kind of pops off. This, it's okay if this cover comes out, it's just held in place by the screws, so it will kind of come off a little bit. But what you can do, uh, we are going to ship you an extender for the wire, but sometimes you can pull this through uh, on the inside. I wouldn't pull too hard. You can also, if you have to, you can open up the head. These four Phillips bolts, which I might actually have to do, uh, will open up the head. <clears throat> Keep in mind, all the guts are kind of held in place by this, so it will be kind of loose and shifty in there, but you can open up the head if you have to pull that wire through. <clears throat> so from here, we're gonna mount the light up here. I did not pull the wire through because I'd have to open the head. Uh, this is a brand new lift. I don't want to risk potentially damaging anything. So I'm just going to demonstrate like this, but you can pull this wire through, especially if it's a longer, um, <clears throat> a longer license plate extender. This is a normal size. Some of them sit way up here, uh, in which case you would have to pull that wire through, but it's going to sit just like that. And you have these long bolts here. Let me get the, uh, here's the cap as well. And the little, um, cover also sits loose. So you can set it like this. Then I'm going to run the bolt through like this and then 
through and it's going to sit in the back. Same thing to the other side. There we go. It's going to sit like that. Then we get our little 5 16th slot nuts, put them on the other side. And then from there, with your 5 16th wrench and then a Phillips screwdriver, you're going to just tighten these down and then your light should stay just like that. And then to mount the actual license plate, you'll get these half inch bolts with a half inch lock, uh, lock nut and a lock washer. And you're just gonna mount your license plate on these four holes. But that is how you install a license plate extender on a Harmar lift. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.